wow, exciting. You found us here at Storytime with Miss Becky. I'm Miss Becky, and this is our friend Bear. Bear asked if we could read a story today about a lonely puppy who lives at a pound. Have you ever been to a pound? Or sometimes it's called an animal shelter. Well, if you want a pet, you can go with your parents to visit the dogs and cats at the pound and decide if you want to adopt one of them. The pound is such a great place to go looking for a pet who needs a home, but it can be a very scary place for a little puppy. Let's read to find out how April, a pit bull puppy at the pound, finds her new home. I'll just put on my magic reading glasses and let's go to the pound and see April's adventures while she waits and hopes for someone to adopt her. April Gets Adopted by Daniel Seif. April was very scared and terribly lonely. It was cold on the concrete floor and loud when the other dogs barked. She had been in the pound for three months and didn't know if she was ever going to leave. Once a day, April and the other dogs in the pound had playtime together. Playtime was when April and her friends learned to play nicely and share with each other. She had big, sharp teeth that she used for chewing bones and toys. She loved to show them off while she was playing. April had to be taught to be gentle with her teeth so that she didn't accidentally hurt her dog or people friends. She would play tug of war with the other dogs and she loved to win. April was very good at playing. But when playtime was over, she was brought straight back to her kennel. People would walk in front of April's kennel inspecting all the dogs that were up for adoption. On Tuesday, a little girl said, that one, mommy, as she jumped up and down and pointed at April. But the mother said, absolutely not. No pit bulls in my house. They're dangerous. April was very hurt and confused by the mother. Bull? I'm not a bull. I'm a dog, she thought. And I'm not dangerous. But the mother and little girl had already walked away. As the days went by, strangers would walk by April's kennel. Every time a stranger passed, they would glance at April and just keep walking. April tried to show the strangers that she wasn't dangerous. She'd sing to them when she saw them coming, but that just made them walk by faster. Why doesn't anyone want me? April thought. I guess I am dangerous. Everyone is afraid of me. On Friday, a volunteer worker from the pound came for April and took her to the room where dogs meet all sorts of new people. April couldn't believe she had been chosen. There was a man waiting for her in one of the chairs. He looked very friendly, and when he saw April, he smiled. April was excited to meet the man and ran over to him, wiggling and wagging. She sniffed him and hugged him and gave him lots of puppy kisses. The man petted her and snuggled her and loved her up. He even played her favorite game, tug of war. After lots of playtime and getting to know each other, the man told April it was nice to meet her and that he had to be going. Goodbye, he said sadly. April was sad too. She was going to miss her new friend. That night, while April lay on the cold floor, she dreamed about her new friend and all the fun they had. April didn't feel so lonely anymore, 
and hoped he would come back to visit soon. On Saturday morning, April woke up to the volunteer opening her kennel. Where is he taking me so early, she thought. When April saw that they were getting closer to the room where she met her new friend, she began to get very excited. I can't wait to play with my friend, she thought. But when they got to the room, the volunteer kept walking. April was very disappointed. She hung her head as they walked down the narrow hallway and out the big door to the lobby. When April walked around the front desk, her ears went back and she started wiggling and wagging. Her new friend was standing in the front with an even bigger smile on his face than the last time. He was holding a brand new leash and collar. April cheerfully approached her friend from the greeting room, wiggling and wagging all the way over to him. Her friend knelt down and hugged her, then put her new collar on. Hi, April. Would you like to come home with me? He asked. April placed her head in her friend's hands and looked up at him with the best yes please eyes she could muster. The man smiled so big his cheeks hurt. He gave April a big warm hug and stood up with her new leash in hand. April pranced out the door, oh, so happy to be leaving with her new friend. I'm so glad to be bringing home such a sweet puppy, April's new friend told her as they got into the car. I guess I'm not scary after all, she thought as she sat blissfully in the passenger seat while they drove to her new home. That lady was wrong about me. I shouldn't have listened to her. When they finally arrived and went inside, April went exploring. She sniffed the kitchen. She sniffed the halls. She even checked out the bathrooms. April loved her new home. When she made her way back to the kitchen where her new friend was waiting for her, April's new friend surprised her with a big bone. This is the best day ever, April thought to herself as she chewed on her new bone. That night, April and her friend got ready to go to sleep. Come sleep in here, her friend said, patting the doggy bed he had prepared for her. But this was still a new place for April, and she was more comfortable being on the floor. The carpet was soft and warm, and she fell asleep very quickly. When April woke up, she didn't open her eyes. She was afraid it was all just a dream. If I keep them closed, the dream will last longer, she thought. But then she felt the soft, warm carpet beneath her and heard the gentle voice of her new friend say, Good morning, sweet girl. April looked up at him, put her ears back, and wiggle wagged her tail saying, good morning. Well, did April's friend think she was dangerous? No, he saw her in a different way. He adopted her because he saw that she was just a sweet little puppy. And April learned that the lady was wrong about her. She wasn't dangerous after all. But what is one thing April's new friend will have to remember to do? Teach April. Remember, April has very sharp teeth. She likes to show off. So giving April a bone to chew or playing tug of war with her will teach her to use her teeth to do good things. And then she can grow up to be a gentle pit bull and no one will be afraid of her. Well, Bear and I hope you enjoyed this story about April, and we also hope that if you ever have a dog one day, you will remember to teach your dog how to play and how to use their teeth the right way. Come back soon, and we'll read another adventure together. We can't wait to see you again. Bye for now.